happening. It is time, right about that time, for the stars to roll on out. Stuart Scott here laying it down for you. Patterning his game after Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, Lamar Odom finally put it all together last season and showed everybody how truly special his game is. Always blessed with an incredible basketball IQ, Odom now truly makes everybody better on his team. Raptors, Lakers. Yo, who wants it? Welcome everyone, we're here at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. The visiting Toronto Raptors will square off against the Lakers here on ESPN. Good evening everyone, here with Bill Walton and Michelle Tafoya, I'm Bob Fitzgerald. As we watch the teams warm up, Bill, which players do you have your eyes on? Fitz, you have to be pretty good just to get on the floor in this league, but these guys are really something special. Kobe Bryant is, in my mind, the premier shooting guard in the entire NBA. He's taller than your prototypical shooting guard, but his athleticism, his mobility, his agility, and mostly his skill allows him to work very well at that position. And on the other side is another guy who can certainly take over this game. Vince Carter is a supremely talented player. He has that knack for making the right decision offensively. When he's on, he can manipulate defenders like puppets. Thanks, Bill. And without further ado, it looks like they're getting set up for the tip-off. The Lakers take the tip-off, and they'll set up the offense. Now let's go down to Michelle Tafoya, who has an update for us. Michelle? Thanks, Bob. I spoke with the Lakers head coach back by the locker room, and he told me that their goal is to prevent penetration. He said, quote, with the skill that they have at getting to the rim, we want to shut down the drive and force them to shoot over the top as much as possible. The task is laid out, and we'll see if they can execute. Back to you, Fitz. Thank you, Michelle. The alley-oop was hammered in by Bosch. Dumps it down low. The pass picked off by Alston. The break is on. Lobs it to Bosch. Flushes it in. Inbound pass to Atkins. The Lakers advance it, and they're down by four. The pass to Bryant. Gives the up fake. Buries it. Fans at home need to see this one again. You can really appreciate the finer details of the game as you get to see exactly how he got the score. They bring it up court right around the four-minute mark here in the first. Passes to Carter. Carter sinks it from the top of the key. Vince Carter can really fill it up offensively. It's a good idea for them to get him the ball a lot more. Pass to Odom. Feeds it inside. Shoots it. Finishes with a soft touch. Swings it to Bosch. The pass to Alston. Denied by Atkins. The Raptors will get the ball back after it sails out of bounds. Shot clock winding down. Off the inbound. Great job. Divas skies for the rebound. Hey, don't let that happen. The Fight the offense. Not the rebound. Open from mid range, and they did a very good job of pressuring that shot. To Bryant. Inbound pass to Alston. They bring it up court. 2.44 left in the first. Skips it to Rose. Jacks up a three. Cans the shot. That was an excellent play. Watch the job he does here, Fitz. Nice bucket. The Lakers bring it up court, but we have a three-point game. Passes to Odom. The feed to Bryant. 
with the Lakers. Recover the loose ball. To the rack. Flips it in for two. Definitely a first-rate play. He was able to take control and get the best scoring opportunities he had available. to Bosch. The pass to Rose. Pump fakes. Devons reeled it in. The defense just got lucky that time. That was an awfully good shot, but he just didn't go in. To Atkins. Shoots from 12. Not even close. Skip pass to Carter. Gives the up fake. Beyond the arc. Buries it. Definitely a good play here. Let's see that one from a different angle. The inbound to Atkins. The Lakers work it up court and they trail. 12 to 8. Passes to the baseline. Let's it go from the wing. Nice shot by the six-year veteran out of Rhode Island. Not a bad decision, Fitz. He shot that one a little bit early, but he was so open, and he knocked it down. Swings it to Carter. Bounces it to Alston. Off-balance shot. On the money. They bring it up court. 59 seconds left in the first quarter. Feeds it to Odom. It's in. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense, Fitz. I don't care how that one looked. That was not an easy layup. Passes to Alston. The skip pass to Carter. Bounce pass to Bosch. Bosch doesn't get enough under it. Chris Bosch can't be happy about that pitch. It don't get much easier than that. Pass to Odom. Pump fakes. Releases. Bosch cleans the defensive boards. The fast break. Three second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The pass to Rose. Passes to Bosch. Shoot from the corner, drops. Gives the up fake, shoots the three. Gets right iron and dropped with a friendly bounce. Bosch inbounds to Carter. We're at the end of one and it's close. The score, 16 to 15. Arujo inbounds to start the second quarter. Pass to Rose. Passes to Carter. Unloads from nine. This. Money. The fans at home need to see this one again. You can really appreciate the finer details of the game when you get to see exactly how he got the score. Swings it to Bryant. Dish is down low. To the rim. Lays it right in. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. They bring it up court. About four and a half minutes left here in the second. Pass to Rose. To Bosch. Devots all down his third rebound so far. That's how you play a physical game and grab those rebounds. Nice board right there. Swings it to Bryant. Pass to Devots. Shoots from the post. Gets nothing but that. The Raptors bring it up court. They're shooting 61% from the floor. The pass to Rose. 
The bounce pass to Carter. Gives the up fake. Steps back and shoots. Nails it. Definitely a first rate play. He was able to take control and get the best scoring opportunity he had available. The Lakers advance it and they trail by one. Passes to Odom. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Gets it to fall. Roddy Vivac showed a lot of confidence on that shot. He just squared up and dropped the turnaround, Jay. The Raptors advance it and they've nailed their last three shots from the floor. To Carter. With the hop step, corralled by Grant. The Lakers advance it, and they've connected on their last four shots from the paint. Pass to Odom. Dumps it down low. d -box. graceful finish. Packs him down. Dishes it to Carter. Fires. Nails it. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. The Lakers advance it and they lead by one. Pass to Bryant. Dishes inside. Sails in. Drops in the pretty layup. The name of the game is finishing off the play fits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. And he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. To Rose. From about 19 feet. Nice rebound by the 16-year veteran out of Serbia. James Rose, who won't get easy looks like that every time down the floor. He's got to make the most of those. They bring it up court. 156 left in the half. Skips it to Carter. From the wing. That's rebound number five by Divac. Get past to Bryant. The skip pass to Grant. Seven on the shot clock. Yes! Talk about earning a replay. This is definitely worth seeing again. Alston brings it up court. He's shooting 57% from the floor. Swings it to Carter. Tries to back him down. Feeds it inside. With the hook shot. Grant grabs the rebound. The defense did an outstanding job there of contesting that inside shot and leaving him with nothing to show for it. Great job. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Ripped down inside by Rose. They can go two for one here if they want, Pitch. Let's see how they manage the clock. Martin scores his eighth point of the game. The Lakers advance it, and they're up 29 to 24. To Bryant. Pass to Debots. Hump fakes. Debots. No good from 11 feet. It's one on one. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Dumps it home. That was a real power dunk all the way through. He really bears down when he gets near that hoop and throws it down with authority. To Bryant. Pump fakes. Launches beyond the arc. No luck. Kobe Bryant could be pretty much hit or miss from three-point range. Right there, we saw the miss part. Shoots from the post. Odo pulls it down inside. Hurls it from about three-quarter court. Missed. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. The score, 29 to 26. With the action on hold for a bit, let's take a look at the ESPN game track with Bill Walton and see what's cooking. What does the big redhead have in store? Bill, it's all yours. 
Vladi Divac has been scoring with regularity in the first half. He's really shouldered the burden for them offensively and has helped give them the lead going into halftime. Vince Carter has been carrying the other side, and they're only down by a little. If they can put together a few shots in a row here, they'll resume the lead in what should prove to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Bill. Without further ado, it's time to start the third. Bosch throws it in to start the third. Michelle Tafoya has some extra info for us. Michelle? Thanks, Fitz. Well, during the half, I spoke with the head coach of the Lakers. He said that while they've done enough to gain the lead, he still sees room for improvement. He added that he wants his team to pick up the energy and told me that if they don't, this game could take a, quote, turn for the worse in a hurry. Should prove to be an interesting second half. Guys, let's send it back to you. Thanks, Michelle. Passes to Bryant. The pass to Grant, gives the up fake, shoots it up, too much mustard on that one. Vladi Divac needs a little more space to hit that jumper reliably. Obviously, the defender had other plans. Finished up with a dunk by Rose. Passes to the baseline. Here comes the double team. Releases from 15. Hauled in off the defensive glass by Rose. Pass to Rose. Passes cross court. Tries to back down. Five on the shot clock. Let's fly from the wing. Ripped down from the stratosphere by Odom. Vince Carter he used that crossover to perfection as we know he can, but the shot still wouldn't fall for him. To Bryant. Backs him down. Alston will head to the bench. And it's good. He gets a bolt. They bring it up court. About three and a half minutes left here in the third. Bounces it to Rose. Dumps it to the middle, to the rack, count it. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense, Fitz. I don't care how that one looked, that was not an easy layup. Atkins works it up court, and he's got four assists. Odom, awesome pass by the six-year veteran out of South Florida. Back and forth, up and down, back and forth. They just keep trading the lead, what a game. The Raptors work it up court, and we have a one-point game. The pass to Rose, tries to post him up. Tosses it up. Clanks it off the front of the rim. Here's the break. The finisher lays it right in. It's always a good thing to see players making plays. He saw the opening, and he took it in to score the basket. They bring it up court, 232 left in the third. The handoff to Bosch. Bounce pass to Carter. Takes a step back. Steps back and fires. Tried to make it in, but it's off. The defender had him hearing footsteps, and he couldn't maintain concentration on the shot. Nice defense. Bounce pass to Atkins. The tipped ball was off by Grant. Swings it to Bosch. Passes to Carter. Seven on the shot clock. 
Pump fakes. Takes a three. Grant tags his fifth rebound of the game. Vince Carter came up empty there. The defense did a very nice job at contesting the shot, made it extremely difficult for him. The dish to Grant. Sent away by Bosch. Good! It's not always about barging inside and throwing down monster dunks when you're posting up your knee. The finesse moves can work just as well and easily get the job done. The Raptors work it up court, and they're behind 37 to 32. Pass to Rose. Passes to Carter. Crosses it over. It's stolen by Atkins. Dishes it to the middle. It's rejected by Vincenity. Rose picked his pocket. Yes. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. The Lakers advance if they're shooting 60% from the floor. To Atkins. Skips it to Bryant. Dumps it to Bryant. Takes it in, gets the lane. The name of the game is finishing off the play fits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. And he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. Beyond the arc. Good. Albert Williams read the defense's mind that time. He gave a little pump fake and then took that overeager defender right out of the play. The pass to Odo. Feeds it to the middle. Divots. Automatic. When you're getting close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. The Raptors bring it up court. They're shooting 59% from beyond the arc. Pass to Rose. To Carter. From 11 feet away, Grant snatches the defensive rebound. We're at the end of the third quarter with a score, 41 to 37. Inbounds it to start the final quarter. Skip pass to Bryant. Swings it to Grant. Seven on the shot clock. Pulls the trigger. Connects. I like to play in real time, but I think I like this one even better on the replay. Nice bucket. They bring it up court. About four and a half minutes left here in the fourth. Passes to Rose. Pass to Carter. Carter was hacked and will go to the line for a couple. Sinks the first of two. He splits the free throws. Arujo picks off the pass. That's how you finish a play. Fitz, go up with both hands and just throw it down, big man. Throw it down. The pass to Odom. Backs in. From the corner. Bosch elevates and yanks down the rebound. The defense did a very good job of staying right up on him, and his middling mid-range game just wasn't up to the task. The three-pointer was missed by Carter. The Lakers bring it up court, and they're up 43 to 40. Passes to Odom. Passes to the baseline. With the crossover, let's fly from the wing. Doesn't get enough under it. To 
Rose. With the runner, it falls. Impressive play, Fitz. This one's worthy of a second look. Atkins advances it, and he's got five assists. Pass to Bryant. Takes the turnaround, Jay. 16 points by the shooting guard out of Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. Passes to Rose. Swings it to Carter. Crosses it over. Takes off. Snaps it. They bring it up court. 2.50 left in the fourth. Pass to Bryant. The pass to Grant. Seven on the shot clock. D-Box gets the bucket. Definitely a good play here. Let's see that one from a different angle. advance it and they're behind by three to Rose passes to Williams dumps it down low the Raptors were the last ones to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds Alston comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while inbound pass to Atkins the Lakers bring it up court. They're shooting 62% from the floor. Swings it to Odo. Inside. It's no good, and their lead stays at three. It's two on one. The finisher sinks it. He really came through on this play. You can see how he got into perfect position to score the second time around on the replay. Atkins advances it, and he's got six assists. Pass to Odom. The pass to Bryant. Feeds it inside. Picked off by Bosch. They're running to Rose. Lobs it to the middle. Jams it in. Great play, Fitz. They were reading each other's minds. Two-man basketball at its finest. The Lakers work it up court, and we have a one-point game. Passes to Bryant. Pass to Odom. Bounces it to Devox. Seven on the shot clock. Rose corralled the defensive rebound. The pass to Carter. Tries to back him in. Five on the shot clock. Shoots for the clock, winding down. Called in by Odo. Ray for Alston chose an awfully difficult shot there. I can see it if he had to beat the clock or something, but in that situation, they should have tried for something a lot better. Pass to Bryant. From just inside the arc, can't connect, and they still trail by one. The feed to Carter. Swatted away by t -box. Bryant stole that one away. They're running. To the bucket. Throws a shot out of this area. Go. Finishes with a soft touch. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense. But I don't care how that one looked. That was not an easy layup. Bosch inbound to Alston. Launches beyond the arc. That's the seventh rebound by Devon. It's two on one. Shoots. Offline. There's the final buzzer, and that's the end of the game. The Lakers edge out the Raptors 49 to 48. It was a tight game, Bill. You can say that again. The Lakers did a great job today of moving the ball around and finding teammates in a position to score. Their pinpoint precision passing that set to the defense and carried them to an easy victory.
Thank you, Mr. Walton. It's now time to see the player of the game. Devon was in top form. He finishes with 20 points, seven rebounds, and he's our ESPN player of the game. That's it for us. For Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, I'm Bob Fitzgerald. Thanks for tuning in to NBA Basketball on ESPN.